ThinkPad T420i. When the processor cooling fan on this laptop cannot work even though the processor temperature is quite hot, it causes the laptop to shut itself down due to overheating. So this could be caused by a damaged fuse. We can look at the schematic of this laptop motherboard. Here we can see a fuse with a symbol like this. We can see that if this fuse is broken or damaged, then the 5 volt voltage from here cannot enter the MOSFET Q1 to be transmitted to the cooling fan connector. So what if the fuse doesn't blow and 5 volts has entered MOSFET Q1? So of course we have to check the voltage on pin 3 of this MOSFET. This is the gate pin that functions as a MOSFET trigger, which determines whether the MOSFET is active or not. This MOSFET is a P-channel MOSFET, marked with the direction of the arrow on this symbol. So for this MOSFET to be active, there must be a voltage of at least 2 volts lower than 5 volts, namely 3 volts. So where does this tension come from? We can see here that there are two resistors. R136 and R139. This resistor will work as a voltage divider which can reduce the voltage by 5 volts to a lower one at this point. The condition is that pin 1 of R139 is connected to ground. Of course this can happen if the NPN transistor is active where pins 1 and 3 are connected directly. At this time the voltage value on pin 3 of MOSFET Q1 is the result of calculations from these two resistors. We can calculate it using the voltage divider calculator. The result is 0.455 volts. And this value is sufficient to activate the P-channel MOSFET which is active low. We will continue with the analysis earlier to answer why the cooling fan does not turn on even though the fuse is not blown. So we check if the voltage on pin 3 of MOSFET Q1 is too close to 5 volts or even equal to 5 volts. Then of course the fan cannot rotate because MOSFET Q1 cannot be active. If the voltage at pin 3 is equal to 5 volts, then it is most likely because the Q77 transistor is not active. So if there is a voltage of around 3 volts on pin 2 of this transistor, and on pin 3 there is a voltage of 5 volts, you can be sure that the Q77 transistor is damaged. The solution is to replace it with a new one. We will continue in the future.